Hello everyone and welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to perform pop art and distort the image by making the background black and white. Okay, so first of all what we need to do is open Photoshop, go to file, open, bring any image you would like but like let's say I'll do this Washington Monument picture because it's pretty cool alright so the first step you want to do is you want to go to this tool up here it's called lasso it's right under this pointer it's called lasso and what you want to do is you want to drag it over one image or whatever you want just like I'm going to do this monument, so I'm going to click, like so, and I'm just going to drag it, like that. And to fix it up or whatever, I'm going to go to this zoom in tool right here, go up, zoom in just to make sure it's perfect, and it looks pretty good. I could... I could have a clear up the bottom, but I don't really see right now. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go back to my lasso tool. And this is really important. You need to right click on your, on your object. Go to feather. And I already have it typed in, but type in three. Three, four, or five. That should work really well. So after you do that, you want to right click on the object again go to layer via copy and what this does is it copies the layer alright so to make this a cool effect what you need to do is now in the layer section you have a thing called layer one and background to change the background to black and white you need to click background and then you need to go up to image go to adjustments and go to black and white and then you can set it at whatever setting you want and click OK but like let's say you didn't want that let's say you want to make add in the trees as well so what you do is just go to cancel and what you want to do is this is still in a layer this is a separate layer to go you would just go to back back to background and just drag over the trees like so just a little more see and I screwed up so therefore go to this minus tool up here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit go back to the lasso tool and I would like to drag it just so it's around the image like so and then go back to the zoom out and I would also like to do the other side let me get rid of this you just drag over it to get rid of it and to keep this from deleting or anything you want to hold the shift key and then just drag over the bushes like so but you don't want these people in the way so what you do is you go to zoom in again and you just basically zoom in I'm sorry this is taking so long this is just acting weird or I don't know anyway go back to your lasso tool you want to go to the minus in there's plus in to add out minus to add in which I want to add in you, just, you don't have to hold down shift key for this and then you just basically drag around oh that really screwed up control off Z to go back just try it again and there we go alright so I wanna go back and zoom out again like that and then go back to my lasso tool right click on one of the images 
and then go to layer via copy now that made a second layer now I'll go to background and watch this go to adjustments go to black and white and check this out it's cool it's all black and white in colors and like let's say hey let's say you wanted to do something crazy okay so what you do is you can go to adjustments color balance you can change it oh that's actually pretty cool it's actually cool you can change it to whatever you like but as I was saying like shadows you have such that's actually pretty cool but for now I think we're just gonna stick with black and white because black and white is what happens to be the best for me right now there's also posturize <laughs> and <laughs> sorry I'm a little sick and there's also threshold now I don't really like that that much so I'll go back to black and white I'll go to OK, and there you have it. You have an image. Now, to also add text, if you'd like to add text, just click on the text tool. And once that appears, you can just literally click and make your adjustments. I'm going to go 75. And hit enter. And then just start typing and after that you can just drag it <coughs> drag it over top and then go back to editor Boom. Like so. Washington, D.C. I think that's pretty cool. Alright. So, after you have it all done, you go to, you want to, and you want to save it, you go to save as. I like to save it to my desktop. And I already have Photoshop pics and everything. A folder I created. I think it's pretty cool. And then. You want to hit JPEG and then just save it Washington Monument it's pretty cool and then to get the best resolution you want to go to maximum which is 12 for me hit OK and then when you're all done when you're all done go to Photoshop and go to preview and there's your picture, your wonderful picture. Now, what you can do with these, you can upload them to Facebook and everything. I think Photoshop's pretty cool. I just bought it recently, about a month ago, and I'm still in the process of working on it. But anyway, I would like to conclude this tutorial. And if you have any questions or concerns, please comment me, leave me comments about how to improve on Photoshop, because once again, I'm still learning. But other than that, please rate five stars, comment me, like my video, and favorite it, and help me out and subscribe to my channel, and add me as a friend. Thank you. This concludes my tutorial. Goodbye.